Hey everybody, Lon Seibin here with the new Google Maps app. This is for iOS, and uh, this is uh, the, actually the much uh, welcomed and much needed uh, new map application from Google. This basically uh, puts Google Maps back on your phone, and the one thing that it does significantly differently than uh, the prior version, which was written by Apple, is that this version looks and feels just like an Android app, and it's very similar to uh, how Google is uh, bringing that Android look and feel to many of its applications in iOS, probably getting people to look at them a little bit differently and say, you know what, maybe Android isn't so bad after all. And this is really, for all intents and purposes, a, a very Android-feeling application. Uh, it has all the common search elements here. So um, I did a little search for coffee before around uh, my town, and uh, there's the Essex Coffee and Tea Shop, and I can zoom in like I did before, hit the, uh, the button there, and go oh, it's a Dunkin' Donuts, um, and get a street view image there. And... Um, it does also have Street View, which is something that we did not have uh, before when iOS uh, Maps disappeared. It's not as uh, slick with all the fancy zooming in and stuff, but it still, uh, still gives you the full-blown Street View here, which is really uh, nice to have back once more. Um, and uh, it also does driving directions, which is something that uh, the last version did not do. And we're going to uh, just type in a location here. So we'll say um, uh, from Hartford. And... Um, you pick your route here. It does just like it uh, did before. You just hit uh, 40 minutes there, and um, then you get going. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty slick. Now it does uh, voice navigation, just like the um, iOS uh, Apple Maps app does, as well as the the uh, Android version. Um, it also has this neat feature too, where you can, with two fingers, slide the map to the side, uh, turn on traffic. Uh, get your public transit directions or maybe turn off satellite view and it goes into default on uh, the hybrid mode which lists the satellite image along with the street overlays um, but uh, overall uh, fantastic to have Google Maps back on the iPhone and it is uh, I think in some ways a, a, a means of Google to try to get people a little less attached to their iOS devices given that the interface is so much uh, like Android. Uh, one thing to note, it is a little bit slower than you might remember it running. Um, it's um, running an AirPlay right here, so it's a little deceiving, but even on the device too, it feels just a little less slick than Apple's app or the, uh, the Google Maps app that was on prior versions of iOS. But um, overall, a pretty great uh, addition to the iOS library, and I plan to use this quite a bit. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.